So that the air pressure system in this actress can function properly again, you must work on both air compressors. In order to show the working process more clearly, our technician will work on a freestanding engine. For the first step, remove the following parts. The resonance head, the intake pipe, the flame pipe, the exhaust manifold, the air compressor line, both coolant pipelines, preliminary heat and return, the oil pipe, and only loosen the service pipe add blue in the compressor. Should you have a problem with the horizontal air compressor, carry out the analog assembly with the vertical air compressor. Now you've got two possibilities for the removal of the air compressors. Either you remove both at the same time, then however you should make absolutely certain of the fact that you don't get the parts mixed up, or you remove one air compressor at a time. With the latter variation you're more likely to keep everything in order. Therefore, our technician has opted for the second and more certain variation. Start with the cylinder head, in our case in the vertical compressor. Unscrew now the locking lid of the TDC hole, so that you can fit the cranking device in the timing case. The tool number of the cranking device is W407589-00. 6300. Pay attention while cranking that the engine turns in the right direction. If the piston is not in the top dead center, then rotate the cranking device until the piston has reached the DDC. Take off the cylinder air liner and gasket. You should wipe off the grease before inserting a new one. Now the airliner and the piston can be removed. For the installation there are some new tools, namely the piston ring compressor pliers and the two piston ring compressor clamps in different sizes. The piston ring compressor pliers have a tool number W5415890037 These tools have been specially developed to simplify the assembly of the pistons. With the special pliers the clamps can be held easily and you can adjust the clamp simply in the piston. Next, mount the cylinder head. Fasten the four screws to the cylinder head, firstly with a torque of 20 Newton meters and secondly with a torque of 40 Newton meters. The removal of the horizontal air compressor is the same as the vertical one and now we'll show you how the installation is carried out. The horizontal angle complicates the installation somewhat so that for the precision work of the compressor clamp, you might wish you had four hands. In addition, the airliner makes things a little tricky. But as you can see, it's doable. The new gasket must be fitted exactly to the airliner or the screws which fix the cylinder head and the airliner to the timing case won't fit in the holes. In the first round, fasten the four screws on the cylinder head with a torque of 20 Newton meters and in the second with a torque of 40 Newton meters. 
The installation of the remaining parts occurs in reverse order. For the last step, remove the cranking device in the timing case. Now nothing stands in the way of a correctly functioning air pressure system.